here we have bismuth. It's a metal. Um, it's gonna be out of focus because it's a 3D object. It's very hard to put a 3D object under a microscope. You basically get one layer that's in focus. One layer. <laughs> And then if I try, I might be able to get another layer in front. No. Not at all. Can, however, flip it over. And you can see you can see all the different colors, like the, the orange right there, the pink, the green. You can see that. Like, let me zoom in a bit. Let's hope I don't come into contact with it. Because I, uh, I had to take off the lens cap thingy. Which normally you don't, but I had to because it looks fine normally, but when you're going in on a 3D object, it actually focuses on the lens cap rather than the object. But yeah, like, you can see all the different colors. You can see bubbles when it was being formed, from when it was being formed. See all that. Now flip it over again. We have this side. Just an entirely different color. And then, if we go like this. Sorry about the shaking. I'm not trying to do that. Okay. Isn't that crazy? I'll turn down the light a bit. But you can see everything in there at really high detail. You can you know you can see all the different lines cuz it's a layered structure. You can see everything and then if we flip it upside down, this uh this terribly out of focus thing. Okay, this is the inside. You notice how the rest of it was all like rainbow colors, and this is just like orange. But then, if I move it slightly, it's green. The light reflective properties of this metal are crazy. Ah, uh, you can see a cat hair, but <laughs> ignore that. But yeah, like this is what this looks like. You know, you can see all the different layers where it's farther down. You can see this. And if we turn it up a bit again, you can see there. But yeah, see how it changes color like that? It's green, it's blue, it's gray, it's purple, it's orange. And it'll be like this, and now there's nothing. 